All right, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Akakodash, the blindness to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for the blindness, and peace to the three brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, it's the brother Gabari from the Indiana camp. Come back again with another sit down to basically talk about um, Esau, you have uh, 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 forgotten who is God. All right, so basically, this is. um. To hit on uh, Esau has gotten all his power. He has gotten everything from um, the Most High Yahweh himself. All right, Esau has not gotten none of has has not gotten any of this of himself. All right, Esau wasn't just you got to remember Esau is the base of men. All right, so the Lord had to bring things lower, had to had had to heavily reduce a lot of things in order for this man to be on top. Man, he had to reduce the. the I mean, look what the state of our people is in, man. Look at the state of our uh, 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 of our people. All right. Look what type of a, a mentality and what type of living conditions that they're in, man. All right, that's this. That's how low the Lord had to bring our people in order for this man to 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 come and over to overthrow us, man. All right, and even and even and even then, still, man. And even and even the uh, uh, the way our people are now, our people are still uh uh, uh how can I say uh, uh I don't want to say thriving, but still. Has a, a a sense of kingly uh, and god and godliness about him, man. All right, because the scripture says, "What you are gods, but you should die like men." All right, so our, our people are still being, uh, 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 our people are still being, our pe pe people still follow our customs and our cultures, man. All right, everybody wants to be the thug. Everybody wants to be. As a matter of fact, they 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 say, uh, 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 um, they say what Snoop Dogg is one of the coolest people that you can ever meet. All right, they say Snoop Dogg is. They said Snoop Dogg is the definition of cool. All right, Snoop Dogg is a, a so-called Israelite, man. I mean. Uh, Snoop Dogg is an Israelite, all right. So even our in our lowliest state, man, people still tries to be like us, man. You know, people still tries to uh, 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 wear our, our wear our apparels, talk like us, act like us. You know. So, but but Esau has completely forgot where he's got his power from, man. He's called. He thought he got all this of himself, all right. So now the Lord's gonna show him where did he get this power from, man. All right. Now, without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into the scriptures. This is Ezekiel chapter 28, verse verse 2. It says, Son of man, saying to the prince of Tyrus, thus said, the, thus said the Lord God, because thou heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of all the seas. It says, Yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. See, man, so what? The Lord was saying, look, just because you set your seat... Just because you set your heart, the mindset, your your ways as the Most High, you're not the Most High. You're a man, all right. And I'm gonna bring you down low, like a man, all right. I'm gonna show you, like I'm gonna show you, uh, uh, uh how low you are, all right. Since you, since you, for, since you for for sook, since you wanna have this great pride and you did all this yourself. Guess what? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you who's uh who's who, man. I'm gonna show you who's Billy Badass, all right. You know. Um. This is Psalms chapter 10 in verse, in verse, in verse four. It says the wicked through the, through the pride of his countenance would not seek after God. God is not in, not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgment are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemy, he puffeth at them. He have said in his heart, I shall not be moved. For I shall never be an adversary. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He seateth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are pri privily set against the poor. He lie and he lie and wait secretly as a lion in the den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draw them into his nets. He croucheth and humble himself. The poor may fall by one of his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God hath God hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O God, and, and arise, O Lord, and O God, lift up thine hand for for forget not the humble. Therefore doth the wicked con, con, contempt contempt God. It says he it says he hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it 
for thou hast behold mistress and spike to require with thine hand the poor committeth himself unto thee thou art the helper of the fatherless see so basically what uh, 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 Esau's going out running running rampant doing everything he, he, that his heart's desire because he's thinking what the Lord has forgotten the Lord's not looking at me the Lord's not uh, uh, care what I do I'm doing all this because of myself see it says what the, uh, the Lord is not in all his thoughts man you know he's saying what the Lord has forgotten all the things I did the Lord don't care about what I'm doing I'm doing this I run the shit I'm doing all this because of myself that's what the, that's what this so-called white man's thinking man all right you know but guess what? The Lord is going to what? He's going to disappoint you. All right? He said what? Let me see I'm going to get that. I don't think it's right here. I cannot believe I can't find it. Hold on, let me see if it is. I'm gonna just read this. This is uh, Obadiah, Obadiah chapter one verse seven. It says, "All the men of thy confederates have brought th have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee." And the and privately, and, and privately, like, and prevailed against thee. They that eat the bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none under understanding in him. Shall I not in that day say, if the Lord even destroy the wise men of Edom, and 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 understand, and understanding out of the mount of e of Esau, and they and the mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed. To the end of every one of them of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right, so guess what, man? The Lord is going to come back and destroy Esau. All right, not one of them, not not son nor nephew, is going to be left there, man. All right, so the Lord is going to come and destroy. All right, because why? Because they thought, because they thought they got all this of themselves, man. All right, but really, in fact, let me get this right quick. This is about ba uh, Babylon. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 23 it says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation? How has Babylon become a desolation among all the nation among all the nations, man? See, man. So it's how, how is that hammer, which is a hammer means what a hammer is, is a driving instrument to drive what to the uh, uh, nails into wood or nails into something. All right, or it's a beat, it's, it, or it's a it's a it's a blunt beating uh, instrument, man. All right, but it's but it's asking the question: How is that hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? How is it? How is it cut asunder and broken, man? Because what the the wielder, the Lord is not using that hammer no more, man. All right, a chainsaw is real scary in the. Uh, I mean, a machete is real scary in the hands of Jason. But guess what? If Jason has no arms to 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 to, uh, to, to throw with, how is he gonna? How, how, what what makes that machete uh, scary? You know, a gun is real uh, fearful in uh, in in hands of um, what of a criminal. But if that but if that criminal ca casts that gun to the side, what threat does that gun have against you? You know, are you gonna be scared of that gun? or Are you gonna be scared of the criminal? All right.
Scripture says, in fact, I'm gonna get that. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. It says, And fear not them which, which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both both soul and body in hell. All right? So that's, that's, that's who the Lord, that's who Esau forsaken, man. Esau forsaken the Lord, man. All right? So by them forsaken the Lord, the Lord's going to show them who's God, man. All right? Because Esau thinking he got all this stuff through his pride of his countenance, through the pride of his excellency, they thought they got all this of himself. So guess what, man? The Lord's going to show him, no, all this was by my works, man. All right? So when the Lord comes back and destroys Esau, the Lord's name can be, uh, how can I say, magnified to this greatest utmost. All right? So people can say, wow, that uh, that place Babylon is destroyed, man, by the mighty hand of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right? Because let's not forget. Because let's not forget that this world that we live in, Job 9 to 24, for the earth is given, given, all right, given, put, set, put, bestow, grant, permission, permit, permit, all right, given, permission, all right, exchange, lean, commit, pay wedge, sale, to put, to put on, to put upon, set, appoint, assign, all right. So this world is given in the hands of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. So this place is given to the hands of the wicked. All right. You didn't take it. You didn't capture it. You didn't uh, uh, lay siege. You didn't do none of that. It was given to you. All right. The Lord bestowed it. The Lord gave you permission. All right. All this is stuff. The Lord allowing. The Lord's allowing you to do these things, man. All right. Don't think that you came up on some great level and you just big bad, you know, you can do anything you want. No, the Lord is giving you permission to do these things, man. All right. Just so it can be a greater downfall to you in the, in, in, in the latter end. All right. But we all know Esau, man. He's the he's the most proud. In it. Hey, he's, he's the most proudest man on this planet Earth. All right. He's thinking everything is by him. If it ain't white, it ain't right. You know. So guess what? The Lord's going to come back. The the ultimate, the ultimate white man. All right? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, white means purity. And when I say white man, I'm talking about a pure white man, a pure man, man. And Yahweh Shah is the most pure because what? He didn't he didn't have he he wasn't tainted by sin. All right? And he said he's not going to meet us as a man, so he's going to come back the ultimate white man. All right? That's what I mean. All right? And guess what? He's going to come back with his with his white men. Which are which are what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna get the scripture. This is um I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna get the one in Daniel. This is a uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which were not defied by women, for they are virgins. These are where these were these are they which follow the land whither so he goeth. These were redeemed from men, being the first fruits of unto God and to the Lamb, and in their mouths was found no guile, for they for they for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. Alright? Those are the elect. Okay? That's the elect. The white men. Alright. This is Daniel chapter twelve. In verse 10, it says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the but but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. All right. So what the white men? All right. And that word white just back what I was saying up. White might make white purity. All right. Whiteness make white white pure. All right. Pure. All right. That's what it means. All right. The real white man. With the ultimate white man is coming, man. All right. To 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 to, to disappoint the so-called white man. All right. Because he's really red. All right. 
You're not white. You're red. All right. And the ones you call black men, they're really white men. Okay. So yeah, man, Esau, hey, yeah, it's going down for you. You know, you you had a good run. You know, but hey, you you for, you for, you forsook the Lord, man. You forsook the Lord. Thought you did all this of yourself, which the Lord knew you was gonna do anyways. That's why he giving you. That's why he gave you the earth for you to mess it up, so he can come back and take it back from you. All right. So he can give it back. So he can give it to Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah can make his men reign upon the earth, man. All right. So, Lord willing, I hope, the, I hope this video was edifying for you, brothers out there. I want to give all praise, honor, glory to you. How about Shem Yahshua, about Shem Rekha Kodash, and the blinders to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for the blinders. Shalom.